Think about all the sites that you visit throughout the day. Try to understand what it is exactly about these online stores or sites that make you want to make a purchase. Take MVMT for example. Why is this site raking in 700k a month? What makes it so compelling to its customers? Now I didn't rake in 700k a month and I didn't build this site. I have the same tools at my disposal as you do and I'm gonna try and answer not just these questions but a whole bunch of questions around e-commerce. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, take a look at some of these other ones and uh, feel free to stick around if you wanna learn today how to build a high converting store. Okay YouTube, let's get to it. Now let's do this. One answer is time. I don't have a swanky watch, sorry, I'm not really like a guru influencer kind of guy. If you're gonna build a truly high converting store, it needs your attention and a lot of time. Today I'll be talking about a bit more of the back end tips and tricks with Dropified and Aftership. Now before we get into those apps, some quick fixes that you can do to your store are things like a trust badge, an FAQ, and an about us page. Now I just wanna do a little plug here because Debutify does these excellently. They all integrate together and they come pre-built with our app. One thing that needs to be understood in terms of high converting stores is trust. In order to gain trust, you need to keep everything on your site congruent. And I know that word is a bit of a YouTube buzzword, uh, to my understanding, it means harmony with all things. Let me just double check. Congruent. Ah, in agreement or harmony with. But yeah, Debutify is gonna help you with those things. You're gonna need an About Us page to build trust with your customers through your own unique brand story. Now, well, that's one thing I can't really help you with, and you're gonna have a lot of learning to come when you sit down and try and figure out who exactly you're pitching to. So real quick, if you want to have a look at the inbuilt FAQs about us and contact us pages for Debutify, do a screen capture here, but if you like, you can go debutifydemo.myshopify.com to have a look. We can have a look at how this works by going pages and FAQ. And I think this is a very stylish, very user-friendly way of displaying your concerns and you can answer any customer questions here. Same with the contact page, very simple, very minimal and easy to navigate and you can use the landing page to introduce your brand to your customers with just a short amount of text. And I will be going far more into detail about short text in a later video this week. So if you wanna subscribe, you can get in on that cheeky info. Whoa, I just had an illuminating idea. If you supersede your competitors with iconic and useful features, you're obviously gonna win in your niche. And what's gonna happen is everybody's gonna have to come and meet you at your standard. If you look at Apple and Samsung, you can see that they do a tit for tat with each of the features. They know that the customers are gonna to gravitate towards the person with the best features. So all that the other competitor has to do, be it Samsung or Apple, is meet that standard, whether it be with features or just with aesthetic. So just to flash out these features, get yourself an FAQ, whether it be through the Debutify theme or if you want a custom code, your own page, you're gonna be able to just put things up there that's gonna save your customers a lot of time and help them understand who they're dealing with. It's definitely an opportunity for you to just input your own little flair into uh, you know, the text box. And you can really flesh this out in the contact us and in the about page. People are gonna trust brands, but not straight away. A brand is really built over time, just like trust is. And who's behind the brand? It's you. Well, actually, this is just a wall behind the camera, but um, I like to imagine that the, there's, you know, millions of watches, millions of viewers. Is there, I don't know, maybe 1,800 subscribers? That's me. Thanks, guys. Let's keep it going. So all of these features, if you keep them in harmony, are going to build ranking on Google. And if they're compatible with your Facebook ads and everything looks the same and is congruent, then it's going to build that trust over time. Stack, stack, stack. And then, you know, sales, conversions, boom, and you're off, you're away. It's all great. Yes. But they do need to be built by you. So go into Shopify and edit your page descriptions and do a wee tinkering with the old SEO. Go into the homepage meta description and put in things like clearance, limited time only, get yours now, 
50% off. Of course, keep the keywords within your own niche. So if you watched my first video on how to build a high converting store, you would have now hopefully been able to understand how order fulfillment works through DSs. Today, we're gonna to be looking at Aftership, which handles tracking. So earlier on in this video, I was just talking about how brands make a standard and other brands come to meet that standard. Order fulfillment, absolute standard in e-com. You're not gonna be able to sell things if you don't have the orders coming into your Shopify to then send out to the customer. Same thing with tracking. It's not as necessary as order fulfillment, but it's gonna build so much trust with your customer, you're gonna be left behind if you don't have it. People are gonna take you seriously. It's an absolute must have in this space. It's also just gonna help your conversion rate so much, so don't break this standard. So how do you confirm if a customer has received the product? How do you confirm if it's even been picked up? That's where Aftership is gonna come in. It communicates with couriers all over the world and lets you and the customer know simultaneously what is happening. It's gonna let you know if it's out for delivery, if it's in transit, if it's been picked up by the supplier, if it's been sent to the customer already, if it's been lost at sea, if it's developed its own consciousness and started its own parallel YouTube channel. Hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. These things happen. This is econ, baby. We don't know what's happening next. You can put this information in an email or you can even attach it straight from Aftership to your website which shows exactly where the package is in this process, which will come in handy when customers come knocking and say, oh, I didn't even get the package. Oh man, 30 day money back guarantee. Where's my where's my $500 watch? And you go, uh, uh, it's actually been delivered to your house right here. I have the proof, truth. This is a post-truth world, but Aftership is gonna save you a lot of hassle. So with Aftership, you get 100 free orders a month and it's best to go with the pay as you go option because it's 10 cents per order. So that means you're gonna get about, what well, you mean, you're gonna get 200 orders for 20 bucks, which is pretty good. You can claim that back through tax um, as a business expense. So let's have a little look on how to install it. I mean, this is kind of intuitive, but I feel like it's good to let you guys know exactly how to do it. So head on over to Shopify and go to the apps on bottom left. I've already installed it, but what you would want to do is visit the App Store and type in Aftership. Oh, genius. And there, 24 results. It is the first one on the left. 3,592 reviews. Um, and it's yellow and it's got a box. It's also here. I'm, I'm capturing my screen, so you know you should be able to see this. So let's open it up. Welcome. Here's what's happening with your shipments. So once you open it, you'll be in the homepage and you can then start to track a shipment. Um, this is actually really easy because they show you how to do it when you get in, but um, we'll just do it all from scratch. So you would have got the tracking number from AliExpress through Dropify or you know Oberlo, whatever you're using, and then you'll be here, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, so yeah, we'll just use UPS. We can go Afghanistan to Albania um, and we'll just call it Woven Basket. So this is just to show you how to use the app. Um, it's gonna show you if it's in transit, when the info received, who it's going with, we're going with UPS. And then on the right hand side, we can see everything that we need to add. We can see who has bought it, if they're a subscriber to your store, any notes that you want to add, um, where it's come from. Um, and of course, most importantly, right up here at the top, big fat tracking number. And then if we just go through, um, we can have a little go at building a tracking page. So we'll do this for Fairhead. I actually love Averni Next, so we'll just keep with that font. The accent color is auto chosen from um, the font that I've already got displayed. Header message, tracking page, footer message. Hope you enjoy your order. enjoy your order. That's exactly what I put in. Um, and then yeah, once you've built this, I mean, you can actually add a bunch of images and lovely little like thank yous and whatnot. Um, and then the customer can just put it in um, a tracking number. And they would have got that from the email that you've sent out through SMS bump or another app. And yeah, you'll be away. And then within Aftership, you can send notifications to your customers. So just make sure 
that you're keeping it congruent. You want it to come from the website, set up an email for your online store. Uh, if this was coming from my personal email, it would be seen as uh, random. So you definitely want to keep it uniform. And you can even send texts from Aftership as well. And I know that SMS is very good for remarketing and marketing. I'm not going to go and claim that people check their messages more often than their emails because it's just how you've got your notifications set up on your smartphone. And then you want to go back and activate all of the couriers just to make sure that you have every chance of the order being picked up by someone all over the world. This might take you a while, but you should go through and click all 739 couriers on just to make sure you know i mean obviously you want to connect your store i've already done that and uh leave them a good review if you want to uh they, they're definitely pushing for that but that is after ship it's pretty simple when you're doing your email or sms make sure that you write a nice compelling and professional message to the customer you know this is where you can do your own personal voice your own personal brand which is what i was talking about earlier in the video you can let them know that they've got it you can let them know estimated shipping times and definitely try and be accurate with those so that people know when to expect the product this is also a space to do a bit of remarketing you can send them an email that says hey thanks for purchasing our product here's a 20 percent coupon code and you know they'll send them straight back to your website also use this space to build a bit of trust with your customer let them know and make sure that you actually can do this. Let them know that you're there for them. Point them to your FAQs and your About Us and Contact Us page and let them know that you're there for 24 hours a day. I mean, hopefully you are. I'm, I'm sure as hell not. I'm not awake 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But yeah, just let them know that they can reach out at any time through email or if you've got a phone service going, point them towards that. And that will just open up a line of communication between you both and they can ask you any questions that they have. And of course, keep everything congruent. Your email, your domain, your store name. You know the drill. Gotcha. Now you want to install Dropify. Same deal. Go to the App Store, type in Dropify, open it, and you're going to get this. Now this is a bit more back-end and product research, but it's going to take time off you working on the back-end so that your store can be more high converting and you can spend more time on all the creative stuff. Very simple installation here. It's actually gonna walk you through it, but I will just do it quickly. You wanna install the Chrome extension. I don't actually have Chrome, I've got Brave, and it works on both, it also works on Oprah. Before you start importing products, you do wanna head over to the Settings tab in Dropify. This app is all about optimization. So to save yourself time, you can actually change the product description of all of the products that you import from AliExpress or from eBay into your store. You can keep it empty right here with just this little box, or you can simplify the text or you can customize it yourself right here. You definitely want to tick the next box right here, make products visible, otherwise they will not show up on your store. I don't think you need to tick randomize image file names when importing products, probably keep that organized, um, but you definitely want to keep these ticked, sync product inventory when importing products and sync product inventory when changing suppliers. It's gonna save you a lot of hassle. You can also update the product vendor to default when that changes and that will display on your store under the vendor name. And it's up to you if you want to keep that name there or customize it yourself. And that is gonna give you this thing, which is pretty cool. If we put in, whoa, go over to AliExpress, you can follow their link, uh, navigate through the coupon mayhem. And this is what you will now be presented with. You'll be able to, to add products straight from AliExpress to Dropify using these little nice green things. And then what you can do is you can make boards. You can keep everything organized and build up different niches and then link that straight back to your store, which keeps everything organized, keeps everything fluid, and it's gonna take a lot of work off of you. They're claiming that it's gonna save you 25 minutes per product. So, um, you know, go figure. It's uh, probably worth getting. Dropified also has a Dropified 101 course, which is silly for me to promote because I've got no vested interest in it and I'm kind of doing the same thing. But um, there's a lot of content on here. You know, you only get a 14 day free trial. So go download it, watch all the videos. Uh, it's free. Why, I mean, why not? And you know, if you're afraid of the CCP, um, it even has a US product import list, which is great. But uh, you know, AliExpress is, is all good. It also has a profit dashboard, which is gonna help you stay organized and 
is a nice base to check in with everything that's going on with your order fulfillments. And you can even check up on Facebook ads for here. But in later videos, I'll be talking about Magixt. I do not know how to say it out loud, but it's spelled Magix. We'll have a look at that later. So I think the moral of the story for today with both of these apps is to spend some time setting up your personalized notes to the customers. And this is really something that I can't help you with um, because you want to be authentic. You want to separate yourself from other players in your niche. Feel like you're going to be one step closer in the giant puzzle that is drop shipping today. So please hit us up with a subscribe, uh, like the video, send the video to somebody who you think would find it useful. And, um, you know, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see other videos. And thanks for being one of the early supporters of this YouTube channel. We really, really appreciate it. So thank you and have a great day.